Russia took the world by surprise when it made an emergency announcement, saying it would be going into a special military operation in Ukraine. This special military operation, predicted by Russia to last for a few weeks, has dragged on for more than a year, and there's no sign of a ceasefire. As a result, many unusual weapons coming from both sides have found their way into the conflict. Welcome back to the US Marines channel. This new video will show you some weird and shocking weapons in the Ukraine conflict with Russia. Before we start, remember to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Number 8 RPG Warhead with Grenades The lack of large and sophisticated war weapons has forced the Ukrainian military to use whatever is available to their advantage. At the beginning of the conflict, the Ukrainian army quickly built an RPG warhead with grenades to counter the Russian offensive. The RPG they used in this case was the RPG-7. This is a Soviet weapon modified to suit the crucial war happening in Ukraine. Since the introduction of this weapon category in 1961, it has become very popular due to its inexpensive nature. The RPG-7 was made by the Soviets as an anti-armor and had a rocket launcher that helped destroy barricades and some tanks. The RPG-7 is shoulder-fired and its rocket launcher is usually unguarded. Since its introduction in the 1960s, more than 9 million have been made worldwide. The Ukrainian forces have as well adopted this weapon and have modified it to fit their battle needs. The Ukrainian military added grenades at the RPG's tip to get more effective hits to make it more interesting. This way, the rocket launcher can hit its target with four or more grenades. Number 7 Mitsubishi Truck Launcher The Ukraine conflict with Russia brought so much ingenuity from both sides. But it can be well seen in the Ukrainian forces as they are obviously the side with less weapon power. So, instead of overly depending on the Western world to receive their much-needed weapons, the Ukrainian forces resolved to use anything they could lay their hands on to create their own guerrilla weapons. One of them is the Mitsubishi Truck Launcher. Despite its odd build, this weapon has been crucial in helping the country fight its conflict with Russia. It consists of a Mitsubishi truck that is fitted with a helicopter launcher. Most of the launchers fitted in these trucks are automatically operated. The truck used in producing these types of weapons aren't necessarily Mitsubishi, although it was the majority. On the other hand, the firing weapons fitted at the back of these trucks can also be machine guns. However, both the machine gun and the helicopter launcher are not manually operated. Number 6 Mosin Nagant M1891 the war in Ukraine is causing their military to bring old weapons out of retirement. Weapons created as early as 1891 have been brought into service again by the Ukrainian forces in the form of the Mosin Nagant M1891. After being built in 1891, another model of this weapon was produced in 1930, more than a decade before World War II began. Sightings from the Russia-Ukraine war have shown the Ukrainian military using this weapon for their ground forces. It is typically a five-shot military rifle with a bolt action and internal magazine. It was made by the famous Russian armorer Sergei Vonik Mosin and features 7.62 mm ammunition. The range is meant for close-range battles at between 400 to 500 meters. This type of weapon has been prevalent as over 37,000 of this rifle have been made worldwide. Number 5. PM M1910 Maxim Machine Gun A video from the Russia-Ukraine conflict has shown soldiers from Ukraine using the PM M1910 Maxim Machine Gun. This is quite odd, making the list of the weirdest weapons in this conflict. This machine gun was initially created by the American-British inventor Hiram Maxim. The 1904-1905 Russo-Japanese War was a wake-up call for many European countries and led to the reinvention of the Maxim machine gun. Its reproduction came in 1910 when the Russian military recreated the machine gun from Hiram Maxims. The one created in 1910 came with very few modifications. 
The most prominent feature differentiating it from the original model was that it came with the standard Russian 7.62x54mm R rifle cartridge, a wheel mount, and a gun shield. Further modifications were made when the Soviet military made some changes between 1918 to 1920 for the Red Army. Another modernized version came out in 1930 and 1941. Nevertheless, Ukraine has adopted this weapon category in its conflict with Russia. It is mainly used by their foot soldiers on the battlefield, and little has changed about the weapon. Number 4. The PTRS-41 Ukraine seems to be using old weapons to fight its conflict with Russia. It is not their fault though, as their access to more advanced weapons is limited compared to Russia. Ukraine had most of the old weapons stored in the country after the Soviet Union disintegrated. In their conflict with Russia, Ukraine soldiers have been cited carrying the PTRS-41. Considering the large scale of their war with Russia, the PTRS-41 is really a weird weapon to bring to a sophisticated war. Sergei Gavilovich Semenov helped the Soviet Union develop this weapon in 1938. Considering the capabilities of the PTRS-41, it is understandable why Ukraine is still using this weapon despite being over 80 years old. This weapon can be used against Russia's offensive tanks and ground soldiers. When firing against armored vehicles, the most effective range of this gun is within 800 meters, although it has a maximum firing range of 1500 meters. This gun is gas operated and features a five round internal magazine. Number 3. T-80 UM-2 Black Eagle Ukraine isn't the only side deploying weird weapons to the battlefield in the recent Russia conflict. Russia's military has also deployed weapons considered quite odd. The T-80 UM-2 Black Eagle was a prototype main battle tank developed and created in the 1990s. This battle tank was a copy of the Russian T-80 externally although it has several significant modifications when you look at the inside. One of the most notable changes between this tank and the Russian T-80 was the reversed crew positions. Also, several experts pointed out that this Russian battle tank prototype has significant flaws. On the battlefield, these flaws can be exploited by the enemy. Since the ammunition of this tank was stored just below, it was an easy target for detonation. From several sources, the Russians made only one of these battle tanks, and it was the prototype. However, it was found among the wreckage of war weapons destroyed by the Ukrainian military during the early months of the war. Many saw it as surprising that Russia used a tank prototype to fight a war. Maybe it shows desperation. Number 2. Krasuka 4 Command Module Imagine fighting a war and seeing containers in random places in the bush. That is how weird some weapons have been in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. When the war first broke out with Russia, terming it a special military operation, it was clear that one of their goals was to quickly capture the capital of Ukraine. It can be proved by the large machinery of soldiers and war equipment that was trying to make its way to the capital of Ukraine. However, they were largely unsuccessful as Ukrainian forces repelled the Russians. As a result, the Russians retreated while leaving some of their weapons in the process. One of the weapons identified by the Ukraine military was quite weird as it was just a plain container at first glance. It mostly looked like a nondescript steel box in cargo ships and planes. To Ukraine's surprise, they discovered it was Russian Electronic Warfare or EW Equipment Treasure Trove. This weird looking container was a package of the control module of Russia's most modern and advanced electronic warfare system, the Krasuka 4. This warfare system could neutralize intelligence gathering low earth orbit or LEO spy satellites, airborne radars, and ground based radars. Number 1. Iskander Missile Decoys In the early months of the war, a weapon coming from the Russian military surfaced online and was tagged officially unidentified. Of course, it was later identified by many experts, and it turned out to be one of Russia's weirdest and most unexpected weapons. To an extent, 
NATO was thrilled that the Ukraine military had discovered this weapon for them, and there was a reason for that. This weapon was Russia's KH-47M2 Kinzhal air-launched ballistic missile, supposed to be supersonic as claimed by Russia. But the one found in Ukraine was quite different and served another purpose. These Iskander missiles were embedded in the ground shortly after the conflict started. A closer expert inspection showed it was used to jam or spoof the radar that opposing air defense systems leveraged. But before the conflict, this type of weapon was a top secret in Russia that they didn't even sell to their allies. So it was quite surprising to see these top secret weapons being used in Ukraine. And that's it. These are our top weirdest weapons used in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Let us know in the comments section the most surprising weapon. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications for more informative updates.